Describe how the mammalian body protects itself against infections. Pathogenic microbes are found on the skin, respiratory tract, mouth, vagina, and the intestinal tract. The skin has a keratinized and waterproof cornified outer layer that provides a mechanical barrier to microbes, prevents entry of microbes. Sebaceous gland produces sebum, which has antiseptic properties. The respiratory tract produce mucus secretions that trap dust. Cilia sweep waft propel the microbes to the pharynx for swallowing or to be coughed out. Reflex actions of coughing, sneezing, vomiting help remove foreign materials from the respiratory tract digestive tract. Lysozymes, enzymes, and saliva nasal secretions tears. Digest walls of bacteria destroying them. Gastric secretions such as hydrochloric acid lowers the pH in the stomach killing microorganisms. Clotting of blood. Prevents entry of microbes after damage of blood vessels. Phagocytosis. By phagocytes engulf and destroy microbes and other foreign bodies. Shua Phytiadzi O. K. E. 1. Lymphocytes are stimulated to produce antibodies. By proteins present in microbes protecting the body, antibodies destroy kill microorganisms through various ways. Agglutinins bind to pathogens making them clump together, killing them, lysins. Bind to pathogens and make them burst or disintegrate. Opsonins bind to pathogens making them easily recognized, hence be engulfed, destroyed by other lymphocytes. Antitoxins bind and neutralize toxins produced by microorganisms. Vagina is acidic, hence making it not conducive for growth and reproduction of microorganisms. Max 20 MKS 4. How are the leaves of higher plants adapted to their functions? Broad and flattened lamina. To increase surface area. For absorption of light. Thin blade. To reduce distance for diffusion of gases and penetration of light waves. Transparent epidermis and cuticle. To allow light to penetrate to tissues. Cuticle layer absent on stomata. To allow for gaseous exchange. One cell thick epidermal layer. To reduce the distance over which sunlight penetrates, palisade cells have numerous chloroplasts containing chlorophyll. To trap maximum amounts of light energy, have stomata on the epidermis. To allow for gaseous exchange and control of water loss through transpiration, palisade layer have elongated cells located at right angles to the leaf surface for maximum absorption of light energy. Spongy mesophyll consists of spherical and loosely packed cells. To create air spaces, which communicate with the atmosphere through stomata, for purposes of gaseous exchange and control of water loss, veins have conducting tissues, xylem, for movement of water and dissolved mineral salts, phloem, for translocation of manufactured food. Max 20 MKS Explain how the various teeth adapt mammals for nutrition. Incisor Sharp Chisel-shaped For biting and cutting food. One root for support in the jawbone. Canines. Long. Sharp. Pointed. For holding prey. Piercing. And tearing flesh from prey. Single root. For support in the jawbone. Premolars. Large wide. To increase surface area for grinding food. Highly cusped. To increase surface area for grinding food. Two roots. For firm support anchorage in the jawbone. Molars. Large wide. To increase surface area for grinding food. Highly cusped. To increase surface area for grinding food. Max. 20 MKS. 6. Describe what happens to a meal of oily beans and maize from the time of ingestion up to the time of absorption. In the mouth. Starch and maize is digested by salivary amylase jalan diastase into maltose. Food is chewed and mixed by teeth and the tongue, rolled into boluses by peristalsis. It enters into the stomach via the cardiac sphincter. In the stomach, gastric juice containing pepsinogen that is activated to pepsin, digests proteins in the beans, into shorter peptides. Food is churned and allowed into the duodenum, 
via the pyloric sphincter muscle in the duodenum. Bile juice secreted by the gallbladder emulsifies the oils in the beans into tiny oil droplets. Pancreatic juice secreted by the pancreas contains pancreatic amylase that digests starch to maltose. Pancreatic lepus that digests the oil in the beans to fatty acids and glycerol. Trypsin digests proteins into shorter peptides. Food enters into the ileum where succus entericus is secreted. It contains maltase enzyme that digests the maltose into glucose that is absorbed. Peptides digests peptides into amino acids. Lepus digests the remaining lipids into fatty acids and glycerol, which is absorbed through the lacteals of the villi. Max. 20 MKS. 7. How are the small intestines in mammals adapted to their functions? Small intestines consist of the duodenum and the ileum. Most digestion of food occurs in the duodenum. Bile from the gallbladder of the liver is secreted through the bile ducts. And it is used to emulsify fats break fat particles into tiny droplets. To increase the surface area for enzyme shulefid.co.ke. 2. Action. The pancreas that secretes pancreatic juice to the duodenum. The juice contains pancreatic amylase that helps to break down the remaining starch into maltose. Trypsin hydrolyzes proteins into shorter peptides. Pancreatic lepus converts lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is also produced to neutralize the acidic chyme from the stomach and provide a suitable alkaline medium for pancreatic and other intestinal enzymes. The ileum is long and narrow to increase the surface area for complete digestion of food and maximum absorption of digested food. Highly coiled to reduce speed of food flow. For maximum digestion and absorption, presence of villi and microvilli to increase surface area. For maximum absorption, dense network of capillaries to transport blood. For efficient transport of absorbed food, presence of lacteals in the villi. For absorption of fatty acids and glycerol molecules, presence of enzymes, lepus. For digestion of lipids into fatty acids and glycerol, maltase. For digestion of maltose to glucose molecules, peptides. For breakdown of peptides into amino acids, sucrase. For digestion of sucrose into glucose and fructose, lactase. For digestion of lactose into glucose and galactose, goblet cells. Produce mucus. To lubricate the walls of the ileum. For smooth flow of food. Coats the walls of ileum to prevent digestion by peptides.